Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Repentance. In the previous episode, we did the uh, Isaac's Awakening Challenge, and we had possibly the best run we've ever had in Repentance so far. A red key run, and we found out that red key is even better than everyone thought it was. You may be seeing I'm on a two-win streak here. That is because I've been playing some normal, and I've been playing some co-op with my girlfriend, and it's been going well. We've been having fun. Uh, we found a really fun bug that's already been patched, but we found a bug where you can get infinite items, so we had a little bit of a mess around with that. But anyways, we're going to jump on in and uh, do some stuff we haven't done yet. So let's play as... Have we not played in this yet? Samson and Eve and the Lost. So, yeah, let's uh, let's try and just get a normal win as Eve. We're not, we're not gonna, I'm not sure which path we're gonna go through yet. We might go through alt path. Like I said, b based on like trying to unlock the new characters or trying to, um, do you know what, actually? Uh, trying to unlock the new characters or trying to, this was definitely the wrong decision, okay. Uh, trying to go for the mother kill. That, that decision really depends on how our first floor goes, really. How our first few floors go, it's more to say. Because um, we can kind of define the run. So this obviously makes it a good one for uh, going for the alt path already. Because we just got a key right off the bat in our first room. So also depends on what items we get as well. But Eve, everyone knows that have, that's watched my uh, series before. I'm not a huge fan of Eve. I find her uh, gimmick a little hard to play with. Um, Bucket of Lard is a prime reason of why I find it hard to play with. Because we just got something that basically completely goes against her, uh, her gimmick. But... We'll take it, because we get the speed boost while we are in Horror Babylon. And the good thing is, we do get the ability to uh, take some Deal with the Devils with this amount of HP. So, I'll try it out. Um, but yeah, her gimmick is very hard to uphold. And it fe I feel like I get boxed in to either taking a lot of Deal with the Devils that I might not want to take to lower my HP. Or uh, being having to deny taking certain spacebar items. Specifically to make sure that I keep the Razor so that I don't accidentally pick up red health and screw my damage. Which is something I quite often do. Uh, anyways, we do have ourselves a Tinted Rock here. This could help out quite a bit. Of course, they've increased the likelihood of Tinted Rock showing up. And we actually got something that worked out fantastic for us. Um, yeah, they increased the likelihood of uh, Tinted Rock showing up in the most recent update. I know... I, I, I'm... I'm I'm banging on about this, but I know for you you guys, this was weeks and weeks ago. And the, the, there's probably even two or three other patches since then um, that, I, that, that are in the future for me, but have already happened for you guys, that have changed that once again or, or like, done some other changes. So, I really shouldn't speak about uh, I've got balance changes and patches, to be honest. But, yeah. Mod Tinted Rocks means slightly easier time on the earlier floors in hard mode. Not a huge fan of that. I like the difficulty as it was with Repentance, bringing out hard mode um, and bringing it into actually being difficult. But, hey her, that's the way it goes. And we are going to kill Monstro pretty easily here. Let's jump on into the next floor. What we get. Jesus Juice is fantastic. Um, we don't want the red health. Let's just go. So, yeah, we're, we're essentially hoping we can get ourselves a deal with the devil here and trade away a good few of these hearts. Get ourselves down to one red heart maximum. Uh, because then we get um, guaranteed and permanent Horror Babylon, which is essentially where all of our base damage and speed comes from. So we really, really want to keep that in effect. In fact, I'm going to use this in this room just to make this go a little faster. If we can get Shoop the Whoop in here, I'd love that. The only problem with that is um, we are going to then be stuck without Razor. And as I said earlier, that can be a significant problem if you end up accidentally picking up Red Health, which happens surprisingly often. It sometimes spawns on you or... You pick up an item that heals you and you don't realize. Um, so, we didn't end up having to deal with that decision-making part anyways. But, ooh, damn. Ooh, ooh, ooh. These, these pond scares, they're fast. And they take two hits. I didn't realize how fast they'd be. And I, I keep forgetting as well. They're pond skaters. They can go over the gaps because the gaps are full of water. That's literally what they do. Heck you. Stay away from me. No! You fat chubby shit. This guy literally fires in random directions and still managed to directly target me. God damn it. <laughs> Lost half of a soul heart already. Deal with the devil is definitely looking a bit bleak right now. I mean, staying alive is looking a bit bleak right now. Okay, this is a hard room. This is a hard room. Oh my god. These little bouncy heads. If you Basically, if you shoot them, you've screwed up. Because they start bouncing around like crazy. Uh, metal plate is fantastic for us here. Gives us a soul heart, but it also gives us, I think it's like um, a 
10 or... I don't know how... I'm, I don't know how big the chance is, but it's a chance to block damage. Uh, let me actually go and have a little look-see. I really should be on top of knowing what items are doing, so... Let's go to Platinum God and go and have a look exactly how Metal Plate works. I think I know how it works, though. Metal Plate. Enemy, have a, enemy bullets have a 25% chance to be deflected back, which will hurt them and apply concussive status. Okay, so basically a 25% chance to not take damage from a hit by a projectile. Doesn't... It's not like Infamy. It doesn't block all damage, but... I don't even know, actually. Does it does it infamy block all damage? I'm not sure. Anyway, so on to our boss. It's Wormwood. Um, Wormwood is a boss that I'm getting better at, but it really, to me, depends on um, on the, the room that you get him in. Like, I feel like sometimes if you get him in, like, this room, he's not as bad, but there's some other ones where there's a lot more pits for him to use, and he becomes a lot easier. There's that, there's that bullet deflect and the stun. He's going to do his tail thing now. Oh, no, he's not. Not yet. He is going to do it now, though. Yep, there you go. And we just automatically fucked ourselves. We created a little hole here to get stuck in. Let's be very careful not to do that. Um, yeah, also, now when he creates the holes, he can jump out of those holes, which is very dangerous. Okay, good. Nice one. We did it. We got booster pack as well. Um, right, we got some good stuff here. Hermit. Here's a heart, two a heart, tower card. We'll take the credit card for now. Um, and let's take a little look what we've got in here. Some good stuff. Some very good stuff. I think we go with Eye of the Occult, because it's new and cool. We go with this. And we go with this. We just take it all. Because now we have um, Eye of the Occult, which is great. And we have um, Empty Vessel, which is active, because we have no red hearts. We have Permanent Whore of Babylon status. I think this is great stuff. Uh, let's take our credit card. I'm just going to do something real quick. I'm just going to drop this here. Um, and then come back in here. Grab the Ace of Hearts. Sadly, didn't get anything we needed there. But I was hoping maybe we'd get an extra Soul Heart. So I'm hoping we can pop in our shop here and um, get something extra. We could take... Do you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that, and I'm going to take the new Notched Axe. The Notched Axe is real good now. Like, real good. Uh, I'll take a pill. Range down. Not that bothered by that. Um, yeah, Notch, Notched Axe is a lot, lot better than it was before. Um, so, essentially, now, you use it, and it's a swing. And it's got, like, a certain charge to it. So, what we can do is we can jump back through here, and we can go and, like, check for our secret room. Um, where would it be? We've, we've searched every room on this floor, so we can kind of go crazy with this thing. Okay, not found it yet. We can also use it for combat, too. It's it's very, very good now. It's a lot, lot better than it was before. So, not going to be here. Could be down here. Wait, no, where is our secret room? Is it here? There it is. And then there's that other one here. Wow, okay. Very nice. And it's got, like, a certain charge that you can use for the whole floor. Um, and it recharges at the end of every floor. Can we put out fires with it? No, we can't. Okay. I didn't expect that. Nice bit of health there. And, yeah, this is a really good run. Eye of the Occult is great and leads to some pretty cool synergies. And Notch Axe is going to be quite fun. Don't think there's anything else we need this floor. I'd say this is a this is a run that's got some legs. This is a run that's got a chance of, uh, of taking us to Mother. Uh, we will end up seeing, but... Um, yeah, we've, we've just got to play it by ear and see what happens. But having flight now and the... Uh, I believe it got changed, but again, let's uh, let's go and take a look. Um, empty... I believe it got changed slightly, but empty vessel. Plus two black hearts, of course. When when you have no uh, red hearts, it gives you flight. Every 40 seconds... Um, oh, wait, okay. This is, I think this is the new thing. Uh... Every 40 seconds since activating, when the timer displays 0, 20, 40 seconds, a shield that nullifies all type of damage for 10 seconds shows up. Um, okay. So, basically, we don't have the timer up, but that timer, every uh, every 20 or so seconds, or something like that, something around that, we're going to get um, a little bit of a shield that's going to nullify damage. Let's try this for combat. Yep, it's pretty good for combat. I'll say that. Um, but yeah, we're going to be able to find our secret room most times. Now, buttons are dangerous. Don't press buttons, kids. But I'm going to do it anyways because I'm stupid. So nothing there. There we go. We got that. It's just such an easy way to uh, to get yourself a bunch of extra secret rooms. And then you can destroy all your uh, tinted rocks and everything. And then if you're in a pinch or you have really low damage, you can just use it for damage straight up. 
It's great. It's so good. Good. Quickly pick all this up. Uh, we definitely want to go to our shop. Case of Darkness here is kind of screwing us over. But yeah, if you don't know what Eye of the Occult does, it's giving us some extra range and I think fire rate. But it's also, it means you can control your tiers while they're in midair. It, it, it leads to some very interesting synergies. It's more of an enabler than it... It's a good item on its own, but it's definitely more of an enabling item than anything else. Uh, so this is our shop. We definitely want to go in here with the money that we've currently got. Um, unfortunately, nothing in there that we care about. We know where our white fire is. We know where our mirror is. We just need to find our item room and then we're good to go. Okay, let's be careful here. Damage is pretty good. 7.5 damage is, is nice. I'm hoping that we get like a really cool synergistic item here. Nice, he's destroying all of that. There we go, we got it. And a black heart. This is perfection. Like, we've only used half the charges as well. This thing this thing can last, like, for quite a lot of rooms. Oh, I love doing that. Using the fires in these rooms to deal with uh, deal with those little enemies is, is a really good way of doing it. Uh, let's fight our boss. We'll just use a strength card because it's Min Min. Uh, Min Min's actually kind of one of the hardest bosses so far, in my opinion. Like, he's not, like, super difficult on his own. He's just very, very frustrating to fight. Also, we got a red heart from somewhere. When, how, and why? When, how, and why? <laughs> oh, okay. That was strange. Um, Auto, baby. I don't think. Where did we get that red heart from? Oh, the strength card, of course. <laughs> I was like, what the hell's going on here? And then I realized, oh, yeah. We, we literally did exactly that to get that. <laughs> Bit of a stupid, part on, stupid brain on my part there. That was really dumb. I did not want to give that guy my health. Whoopsie. But yeah, P uh, PJs there were absolutely brilliant for us. Curse of Darkness is making this uh, this experience slightly unpleasant for uh, for the YouTube viewing audience. I do apologize about that. Get in the fire. Uh, I, I, said, I do. I, I, ow, really? I do apologize that it is so uh, difficult. There you go. Uh, to see. But unfortunately, that's just the way it is for now. Uh, right. Jump in here. I would love to take that, but I gotta take random. Stranger tra Oh, no. Okay, Stranger Tractor has been changed, though. Again, let's go and take a look. Strange. Stranger Tractor. Uh, okay, so it's not got the updated version here. So let's go and find the, uh, the, the update notes. Where are your update notes? They're quite far back now. Here we go find out exactly how it's changed. I know that it's changed to be a bit better. Strange Attractor. So Strange, st strange Attractor's tears now pull enemies with less force at first but increase the magnetization as they travel. So essentially it doesn't pull enemies in towards you as much anymore. Um, it's a bit better for that. We do have quite a few rooms to travel um, into our mirror realm. Let's go. So yeah, this is going to be kind of, a, kind of a saucy run now. Kind of a saucy run. Okay. Oh, for some reason, I just completely forgot there'd be combat in here. Okay, this is uh, this is actually pretty good with some enemies. Please no, please no. Okay, we got invincibility for a minute. Okay, that other thing, that other one died. I thought there was two in here, but obviously not. Causes enemies moves to be unpredictable. Indeed, it does. We're not going to fight our boss here because we just don't need to. Um, let's get back through the mirror. We've got our key piece, knife piece even. I'm going to keep calling it the key piece. I know it. Jump on through. And then we can do something pretty cool. We can go over to our boss. Oh, this is, this is a very strange but good run. What we need now is like shot speed and range to get our tears as far away from us as we can. Because they are going to be pulling things all over the place. But I'm actually glad to uh, to have an item that um, that has been changed. Even if it is still a little bit uh, unpredictable. There you go, look. Notched Axe opened it in a single swing. Quickly check for a tinted rock. Nope. Down we go. I love this. I already love this run. We got good health. We got good damage. Everything's looking good. That's unfortunately not good. Oh, wait. 
Yes, you can even open those with a notched axe. Brilliant stuff. That's amazing to find out. Oh my god. Okay, flight is going to be of the utmost importance here. Yeah, this is definitely way, way less annoying. Like, it's still pulling enemies in, but yeah, you can see it's actually more pulling them away from us than towards us. Like, basically, it has no attraction at all when it's next to us. When it starts traveling away from us is where it gets to the point where it's uh, knocking things away. We're starting to see the invincibility come to play as well. Okay. I was, I was like, how the hell do I beat this room? Then I realized this guy destroys rocks, doesn't he? That's kind of his whole thing. Okay, you, you need to die, dude. Oh my god, I keep like hitting him like once. Okay, there you go. Oh, the double spirit heart play is brilliant here. There we go. Found our secret room. Love this. Notched axe, top tier. Notched axe is the best. I do I do have a few things I want to try with it just to see how how powerful it is. There's one thing I think that won't work. But I want to try it and find out if it does. Also, these little guys are a bit hard to kill. Honestly. A little bit hard to kill. Cool. We got ourselves a penny. Right. Good. Got you. We've got the damage to kill these guys pretty easy. Right. No, I was maybe thinking, can you break locks on doors? You can't. Take mystery item again. Teleporter 2.0 is unfortunately not really something we want. I'm sticking with Notched Axe. I'm going to take the mystery item a lot of the time when it's something that doesn't really interest me. Stars card is nice. Okay, this is going to be good against these enemies because they're very light. It's going to pull them around a lot. Apparently, these little snake boys, it doesn't affect, like, at all. Oh, God, the music's kicking off. Great. They got him. There we go. Got that guy. Shop, we definitely want to pop in here. Again, nothing great. We'll definitely take the HP, but nothing nothing we need. Sad, sadly, the shop isn't really working for us too well. I mean, obviously, we got notched axe out the shop, so that was pretty good. But other than that, we're not really getting what we need. We've got the invincibility again here. It's, it's a quite long invincibility as well. Empty vessel goes hard. Okay. He's going to be f f throwing these rocks at us. Luckily, we can't seem to pull the rocks around, which is nice. Only the actual enemies. Um, I haven't been se checking for second secret room, but these are the sort of rooms that are likely to have it, so I'll, I'll check now. Yep, there you go. Double red hearts doesn't matter to us, but oh well. Um, oop, lots of bomb boys. These flies are annoying. But they're getting sucked around like crazy. Uh, we've basically cleared this entire floor. The pile. Actually, pretty good damage against the boss, I'm not going to lie. Oh, shit. Okay, we, we, we managed to get away from that. Actually, the pulling force is pretty good against this boss. I was expecting him to be very grounded, considering he's literally in a hole in the ground. But that seems to not be the case. He's actually very susceptible to the pulling force of this. Oh, shit. I forgot that he did that. We didn't get hit, though, so it's okay. We just got to be ready whenever he charges. Because we will be pulling him towards us as he does so. But honestly, Stranger Tractor... Still definitely unpredictable, but much, much, much better than before. Maybe Eye of the Occult is uh, is affecting my judgment on it. Maybe it's a little better because of Eye of the Occult. But it seems real good, and there's a damage upgrade, so we're definitely feeling good about that. Jump on down, and this is a very, very strong run. This is a very strong run. Um, I'm trying to think of things that we that we need to make this like go a little harder, be a little better. But I'm not 100% sure. Kessa Darkness being insanely dark again here. Ooh, damn. That was like an instant hit on that guy. Uh, yeah, I think that I think they, they definitely probably will change Kessa Darkness. I'm sure that you guys will have already seen the change by now um, on, on your game. I'm sure they'll change it. But for me, I'm still in the old Kessa Darkness. Because we're pre-recording like crazy. Oh, thanks for opening that for me. I mean, I would have done that anyways, but still, thank you. Thank you, nonetheless. Using my axe to kill that guy feels so satisfying. 
Some extra pennies. If only we could have a good shop, then these pennies would actually be useful. Okay, you just... Wait, oh, these guys are uh, bomb immune. I was like, you just killed all your own guys, and then just didn't. Good. Where is our shop? Okay, so we've got our buttons now as well. We don't have flight by default, so we are going to have to still deal with the uh, the puzzles. Not like we can get out of that. There's another button. Okay, we've got invincibility. When, whenever we've got invincibility, we should really just get in there and uh, and face plant against enemies. Oh, come on. Give us, like, a really stellar shot this time. Ow. I thought I had invincibility then for some reason. I, of course, did not. Okay, just stand back. Deal with these guys first. These guys are way more annoying. There you go. Lots of bouncy burns going around the place right now. These guys are very heavy, so the uh, the gravity isn't affecting them at all, really. Is that it? Yes, it is. Is this Mulligan? The Mulligan definitely got a visual uh, visual change, but hopefully it's still as good as it always is. Mulligan, of course, when we hit tears, can chance to spawn a fly. Very well. When, it's not when we hit; it's when we shoot. Very, very good. Um, that's over the stars. Yeah, we'll definitely take out of the stars actually. We can uh, void up an item and um, and get some stats for it if we want to as well, which is good. Okay, good. You managed to get out of that fire, and here's our shop. So much money. I don't know how this will work, but we should definitely donate now we've um, slide behind the machine. There you go. I gotta say, we've got so much money. Let's go down to 15 cent. Oh, I went down to 14. That's still fine. Okay, good. You're dead. And you're dead. Good. Okay. Uh, still haven't found our actual minecart room. That is a hermit card. Let's just go fight our boss now. But yeah, uh, Singe. Okay, Singe could be a problem if we are able to move our rock these rocks around. Okay, we're not. Great. If we were able to move those rocks around, Singe would have been a huge issue. He, he, he made a new rock, or at least brought that rock with him. I think he just brought the rock with him, didn't he? Okay. Yeah, he, he just carries a rock up with him. Singe, you've made so many holes in the floor that you've kind of screwed yourself over here, haven't you? Trying to fart that over towards me. I love this boss so much. Hey, tears up is great here. Deal the devil. Miner's axe has been good to me, but Guppy's head plus uh, double activations sounds fantastic. Did we get any health in here we could buy? No, we did not. Okay. Still haven't found our item room. Oh, no, we have. We have. We, we took our item room, didn't we? We got uh, Mulligan. Of course we did. But, yeah. Taking Mulligan plus this, pretty good. I'm a little bit worried about our health now, because we are going to have to still go through the um, the mausoleum door, and that's definitely scary. Uh, but we should be okay. It's 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 a risk, but I'm hoping it's a calculated risk. I'm hoping I've, I've taken it in a, in a way that means I should be all right. It depends how much we get hit on this area, to be honest, to how worried I am. If we get hit, like, once, I'm fine. If we get hit more than two or three times, this is going to be a bit risky. Going to the mausoleum. What up, my friend? Oh. So we've been hit once for a full heart of damage. So that's great. Um. God damn it. These bombs suck ass. They don't throw where you want them to at all. That hit me. Oh, my God. So, yeah, we're, we're basically we're basically burned now. This screwed us so hard. Oh, my God. This screwed us so, so hard. I am um, major upset. God damn it. This is going to be bad. Right. 
Let's go back to our boss. Oh, damn. We're going to be heading in with very low health now, which is very risky. And we've got very little time to make up the HP now. I really should always do that room beforehand. So, yeah, it takes two full hearts. No tinted rocks to be seen either. Uh, but we'll jump down and just... Uh, we just got to hope and pray for the best, really, haven't we? Because we have entered this floor with very, very low health. But we do have a knife. We got an XL floor, which is pretty bad because it means one less shop. That could be pretty good. Um, I'll make sure we go to our shop first, but that could be pretty good for us. Yeah, these things are still activated no matter what. Good to know. We've got our invincibility. Good. I'm just hoping we find a room where we can get a bunch of HP. <clears throat> oh, no. Taking bad hits. What are these dudes? I've not... I've only seen these dudes like once before. I don't know what they do. There's our shop. Good, good. Fuck. Shop's not very good. Um, shop's not very good at all. Good. Just plow our way through the whole floor. Try and not get hit. Hope we get HP. Yes! Okay, okay, okay. That's a good start. We definitely need a tinted rock or two, though. And definitely the R2 would be more preferable than, than not. That's a scary room. But yeah, we are producing mad amount of flies now, which is great. Mulligan plus this is uh, is very good. So we probably do want to play this now. So a card we got is the tower. Definitely don't care about that. Give us a teleport card so we can go into the cash room. That'd be nice. There you go. Fucking really. We're going to have to take that. It's actually pretty good. It means we can sit over rocks, but I'm not willing to take something that's risky. But yeah, sitting over rocks is actually pretty good for us. Um, let stay a little safer. It just doesn't help us on the final boss is the problem. But it does keep us safe. I will say that. It does keep us safe. Really hoping that we get a payout of at least one spirit heart. Ooh, that was close. That was close. We are killing things real fast, though. I will say that. Silver dollar. I think that means we get a shop in our womb. I, I'm guessing that counts for the corpse as well. Really? I didn't see him uh, take off there. So now health is exactly back where it was. Still don't really know how to deal with these dudes properly. Okay, these are... I, I, I got really confused then, because I'm like, are these going to start, like, going outwards and get longer? But no, they just stay small. No, this room's... This room's fucked. Oh, my God, we did it. That room is so... So effing effed. Don't care about getting that stuff. It's too risky. Right. Oh, my God. I am very scared. It is an Excel floor, remember? So we do have another... We do have another uh, item room to get to. Here it is. Good, good. Um, please give us a soul heart. Damn you. Have to go random. Ooh, that's pretty nice. That's a new item that we haven't seen before. I don't actually know how it works in this game. It doesn't seem to be affecting our tears at all. Oh, it zaps enemies when we touch them. I don't know. I don't know. That's just money. I want to figure it out, but I don't want to get too too close to enemies or let them touch us. We didn't take any damage, so I don't think it's that. Oh, it's, I think it's just when we get close to them, it zaps them. That's kind of good, I suppose. Definitely a downgrade from what it used to be, but I suppose what it used to be is just Jacob's Ladder now, so kind of makes sense. Bomb beggar. You could pay out with health, so I will pay you. Or you could pay out with fast bombs immediately. Interesting. Literally one payment and I get fast bombs. Oh no. Brimstone boy. Scary. The sun card doesn't really help us, but I'll take it. I actually got hit by that rock then. Are you kidding me? I took the risk of flying through to the middle. Definitely a very, very stupid risk to take. 
The left hand. Don't think it helps us that much. Oh, you bastard. I saw it the second before I touched the chest. God damn it. This is bad stuff. This is bad stuff. We have uh, most likely boxed our run here. Let's hope for um, a balls of steel. We got a gulp. That's kind of good. Oh my god, right. Let's go and pay our, play our fortune teller a little more. Oh my god. Scary stuff. Is that a tinted rock there? It's not. God damn it. I was really hoping it was. Come on. Anything that gives us soul hearts or some soul hearts themselves would be great, thanks. I guess we'll pick that up. More cards means you should pay out with more cards, right? The Emperor. Hmm. These really aren't what we're looking for right now. You were born wrong. I guess black rune's what we want to take here. God damn it. God damn it. That was a bit of a bust. Okay, time for death. God damn, this was such a good run. Taking Guppy's head was definitely a mistake. What's in here? Ah, oh, let's let's do this. Magic eight ball. Do not hit me. I will cry if you hit me. Um, so we've got one secret room down there. Let's go have a little look at that. I don't know where our second secret room is, though. What the hell? Ah, I think I got a bomb into it from here. Ugh. I need HP. This is going to be bad. We're like, we have to fight mum and everything with this health. Horny twins. I love them, but still. No, we're still going to die. Oh, our damage is so good as well, but we just don't have the de We just don't have the health to do anything. The brimstone coming in. That almost hit me. Just gotta watch out for the foot. The foot's the main threat right now. You're a threat. Why are you spawning in this fight? There's the foot. Walked right into it. Walked right into it. I did a bit better on that one. Okay. Oh my god. So we have to take the Polaroid because we need the we need the protection. I was really hoping this eye would get killed by my flies then and it just didn't. We did get a succubus um from uh from getting hit from Cambian Conception, which is nice. I'm really bad at this attack. Oh my god. Just, just don't be mean. Whoa, this attack's strange. I've not seen this before. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Fucking hell, half a heart, really? <laughs> this isn't going to go too hot, is it? <laughs> oh, my God. No. Oh, we came so far. We had so much health. An eternal heart. It is one hit. One hit of saving grace. So I guess we'll take it. Oh my god. This is just doomed. Oh my god. 120 volt. Popping off then. I mean, to be fair, there has been times where I found just absolutely tons of uh, health on this floor. So it could happen.
It's like our damage and, and our offense is just so good. Damn it, you had to drop red hearts, didn't you? That's money, yes, but doesn't help us. The world is nice. Oh, we got a bunch of these things. Okay, don't let them grow. Oh, my God, please. Give me a tinted rock or something. That's a big leech. I will take that because we do have shops this floor because we gulped a trinket. Hanged man, no thank you. A pill that could save my life. I found pills. <laughs> you just gotta troll me like that, don't you? Okay, good. What you got for me? Nothing really. Where the hell? Why am I holding the hanged man card? I specifically left holding this. Not that it matters, but... Yeah, I don't think we really want any of that, do we? We'll grab that. Not, a, not even a soul heart for us. How rude. See if we can make it through the boss fight. Paralysis. Glad he was dead when I took that. Gulp. Yeah, we'll take that as well. More cards. Okay, these enemies, these enemies have killed me, well, hit me a bunch of times. Yep, there you go. <laughs> I can't not get hit by these exploding dudes. The invincibility just saved my life. Oh no. Oh no, the swarm. Right, time to no-hit this boss. Oh, and it's rock gut too. This is a hard, hard boss to no hit. First phase done. The, the second phase and third phase, I cannot no hit. He has some really weird attacks that affect you in different ways. And he's got a brimstone. Yep. We're dead. <laughs> we tried. That was a good that was a good attempt. A very fun run, very cool synergies, lots of new items. But ultimately taking Guppy's head was probably the thing that killed me there. Also, just the last two floors having just no health on them. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.